great to be here. It's wonderful. Have you had a good time? Yes. I've been watching you. I see you're doing a lot of laughing and giggling. Yes. Having a great time. Um, a few questions now. Where have you, for the folk there, where have you come from to be here? Uh, Kauai, Hawaii. Kauai, Hawaii. Yes. That's nice to say, isn't it? It is. Really enjoyable. Yeah, okay. So you've come all the way for the training. And tell us a bit about yourself. You're already involved in farming, aren't you? Yes, commercial farming. Absolutely. And what kind of commercial farming are you doing? Hydroponics. Hydroponics? Yes. So that's interesting. You've come to an aquaponics training. Why would you want to do that? Well, because um, we're working on making our life in Hawaii uh, more sustainable. The cost of okay. living is expensive and everything has to be shipped in. So we're okay. just trying to go through a slow conversion. Plus, currently we already have fish on, so it's just a natural conversion. Oh, well, you already have them on your farm already? Yes. Oh, wow. That's good. Um, so do you think you'll be able to go home and convert part of your farm? How big is your farm, by the way? Uh, acre undercover right now. An acre undercover? So yes. that's a farm. Yeah, okay. Um, are you going to go home and try and convert some of that, or are you going to build a new facility? What's, what do you guys have got in mind? No, What's, no, we'll do a slow conversion for slow sure. Slow conversion. A slow conversion and yeah. see how it works, and then go from one system to the next to the mm -hmm. next. If it works, it works. So let me just understand this a bit better. Why are you trying to get away from hydroponics? What, what do you think is going to be the advantage for you? Um, the synthetic fertilizer. What, what interests you in making this conversion, do you think? What's your motivation for that? Why, why aquaponics? Um, to convert from synthetic fertilizers to all natural. So that's important to you? Oh, huge. Yeah, why yes. do you think that would be? What, what's, is it customer driven or uh, cost driven? No, cost driven and it's environmental driven. It's yeah. personal. So you, yeah, you really want, you see that as a problem. That's interesting. Um, okay, so your immediate plan is to go back. You're actually the manager of the farm, aren't you? General manager, General yes. manager, even. Ooh. So you're going to have, we're talking to the real person here, if we can do something. So you're going to actually go home and you're going to start implementing some plans. Yes, yes. That's great. Yes. Great to hear some action. So for you, can you pick out anything specifically about the training that you think is going to be immediately beneficial? Is there any high point or is it all pretty broad? Um... No, I think it was very well done. This was a large yeah. group. Everything was very well orchestrated and from the moment that we registered till now even. No, mm -hmm. no, there was no high point. It was just... The whole thing was pretty good? Oh, excellent. I thought oh. it was excellent. That's good. And do you feel it was value for money? Absolutely. If you were telling anyone about it, you'd say it was good value for money? Absolutely. Think? Yeah. Actually, yes. Yeah. The food was good, wasn't it? It was. Mm. Okay. Now, <clears throat> the other question I'd like to ask is um, spreading the word about aquaponics generally speaking, um, do you think that's something we ought to worry about as individuals or do you think it's a government responsibility or how do you think that should happen? Um, do you think it's that good? Do you I think th we should be telling people? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think that just word of mouth and, um, you know, everyone wants to get on board with doing the right thing, I think. You know, people in general... I think people do too, you know. They have a really good I don't heart. think we need to be told to do it. No, mm. no. I think people are generally w want to do the right thing. They have a good heart. Um, it's just understanding how to do it, mm -hmm. you know, and that's that's big. And you know, um, you know, when I found with this forum in particular, people were so giving with their information, and they didn't withhold. And um, one person had an idea, and another person had an idea, and then they could collaborate and make that idea go forward for what's best for them. The and networking was really great, wasn't it? Unbelievable, mm -hmm. unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And for me, that was huge, mm -hmm. you know, because we don't do aquaponics, and it's not like. Um, someone had this really great gift and they were holding it to themselves. They were freely giving it. Yeah, yeah what a wonderful group of people. Yes. I think, you know, I've been doing trainings for a long time and I think that this one has been the most enjoyable. I really mean that. It's been such a great lot of people and, and the networking so good. You know, every time I come here I learn something new. Too. It's yes, great. sure. Yeah. Well, you're not a good farmer when you stop learning. Absolutely. Absolutely. We've actually had people come to our trainings and tell us they know everything. Can you imagine that? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, thanks for coming, and I hope I can come one day soon to, how did you say it? Kauai, Hawaii? Was Kauai, that? Hawaii. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Aloha and mahalo nui. Oh, wow. <laughs> we'll do this interview again. <laughs>